Hi everyone, welcome to this week's Beyond the School Run video vlog. And today I'm with one of my favourite people. Oh. And we haven't done a vlog for ages, so it's so nice to be chatting to Sally again. We've just yeah. done an event um, at Sweaty Betty, hence you can see the venue behind us. And we really wanted to share, as part of our, we've been doing um, uh, some vlogs throughout the year about empowering mothers around um, their clothing and connecting and decluttering your style. So I just wanted, we just wanted to share some of the tips that Sally shared today around this kind of transition through um, summer to um, autumn. And so Sally shared some great tips. So what, what okay. do you think of where we're at at the moment? So we just come out of summer, um, still got a bit of a glow. What, what kind of key things should we be looking at? You've got a glow. I oh, haven't. thank you. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yes, so I think um, even though the weather is quite mild, I think one thing that you can be guaranteed is that the cold weather will come and um, I actually did a little bit of a calculation apparently we spend 16 minutes per day choosing what to wear and I've worked that out over the autumn period which is going to be about 45 hours of oh choosing what to wear so it does actually pay to be prepared and this is yeah. a great time to do it when the stores are full of good items and also it's a good time to assess what you actually have got it's not always about buying new stuff it's about making use of the styles that you do have so my top five tips would be first of all assess your current autumn wardrobe take a look at it give yourself uh, be honest with yourself about what you will wear in the coming months ahead um, when you've done that declutter your wardrobe so get rid of all the items that you don't need and then you'll be able to see what you actually do have to wear and assess your style a bit easier um, what I would suggest is if you do need to invest in some new items so tip three is invest in up-to-date essential items so for instance for me that's um, a nice new coat and jeans because I like to wear jeans and trousers so rather than focusing on lots of other different things or buying the same similar things like the striped top that I'm always drawn to in the stores, it's about assessing what you really need and what you really use and then use that as a base. And I'd quite so, like to show them your jeans outfits because I really yeah. like them. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's, uh, yeah, so I've, I've actually worked on updating my jeans ah, yes. So because I do love jeans and I was yeah. getting bored with my old ones so I did make a conscious effort to find some new ones. So, um, so yeah, so that would be my tip. Um, the, the fourth thing to do is, you know, don't overload the dark colours. We are going into winter. It is tempting just to wear dress in all black, but colours do change our psychology, they do change our mood, and they can make so much difference to how you feel and put you in a positive frame of mind. So my tip there, um, my fourth tip would be, um, yeah, think about colours, think about using interesting colour combinations to refresh your look and refresh what you already have. And um, my fifth tip would be, when you do go through your wardrobe, um, sometimes there are things that need mending, sometimes you've bought a pair of trousers that you haven't quite bothered um, to hem, um, do that, you know, I think it does make an awful lot of difference and also when you're shopping sometimes there isn't a magic solution on the high street if you've got a smaller waist or if you um, tend to find trousers come up too small. So make friends with a tailor and um, be prepared to sort of work a little bit more into the items you've got to make them work for you as opposed to thinking that there's always a magic solution on the high street and you have to go and buy it. So hopefully um, if you do that, you can buy less, choose well, and actually do more with the wardrobe that you have already got. So. And I think that's a really that's something that I'm really focused on. Is like uh, Sally and I have talked about this before. Is kind of decluttering, so you've got a really clear wardrobe. You don't have to think too much about what you're wearing when you go out the door. So you can quickly go to you can hear a baby in the background. You can quickly go to a meeting and not have to spend too much thinking about it. And I love this whole idea around colour. I think it's really important to our kind of well being and our focus throughout the winter. So I think that's something I'm really going to focus on as well. And can um, I just just show you something yeah. actually because um, I, I talked about this sometimes that you do need to go out and get inspiration I think Instagram is great for it yeah. um, Pinterest so I think if you do want to update and refresh your style look look at what's around you and be inspired by what's around you and this is something this is a picture that I saw uh, a tear that I had last year so it's this one here so actually it's, it's a red jacket and uh, I'm not too sure if you can see in the light but it's different tones of red with lilac and I was inspired by that but you know I'm not going to wear that whole outfit with the heels that's that's clearly not me but what that did inspire me to do was actually buy a red jacket it looks great. which is what I've got whole outfit, can you Sally? see I think it looks great so I don't know how quick, clearly you can yeah. see the jeans but they're great whistles really jeans, the jeans but these are barrel white. jeans so I am a denim person so I do love 
to wear jeans. So these are my new update, which I actually saw in a client's wardrobe yeah, so and great. decided that I like them and then I um, waited for them to come in the store. But um, in terms of the colour combination, this is actually a sort of very pale sort of lilac blue shirt, which I would never have thought about combining with red. But now I've actually been inspired by that tear that I saw, I've actually combined them too. So it just creates a nice fresh look, which I'm, I feel great in because it looks new, but actually it's still a red jacket that I can use a lot and a shirt yeah. that I can use a lot. So. I love it. And as soon as I saw you today, actually whenever I see you, I'm like, I'm really inspired. Yeah. Um, and it just, I just, the combination was really good. And that's the whole point is having a little bit of few windows of time to think about it when we often talk about it that Instagram really helps like following a few of the kind of fashion bloggers and also just decluttering getting really clear on what works for you and you know I think that really can help us all get, get into work feel great about ourselves um day to day so Sally and I share more of these you can see our previous vlogs over on the Beyond the School Run um YouTube channel and we'll have more to share coming up one of which uh, we're going to be talking about sustainable fashion so um Thank you very much, Ali. Yeah, thank so you for having me. Thank you for listening. And, um, it's lovely to talk to you. Always. We all look forward to connecting with you next time. Thank okay. you. Bye. Bye.